Today, I'm just, I want to figure out why I shank the backhand so many times. All right, so what happened there? I, de I, pro I might have turned too early with this shoulder. Keep that still here. But I think with my feet too, because I find if I, I've had a bad habit of closing off and hitting around. If I try to step in, I think that's when I end up going early. Because if I'm close here, I have some space to open. But as soon as I'm here, now all of a sudden, I wonder if that's it. It's a little bit of footwork and my, my shoulder. So if I can stay to keep that closed, if I can not close off, not close off my feet, keep my shoulder closed without opening. That might be the, that might be the shank culprit. Where's the con, I mean, I wonder if I sh I think I do try to hit it so out here. And so this, the margin for error here is so small. If I'm here, I got a little bit more leeway. Maybe that's why I'm, I'm not back enough, which is that shoulder. It's not turning enough. We're gonna do 100 hits backhands, and I'm just gonna get focused on turning this shoulder all the way. a lot of like flexibility in your neck to be able to turn that far. Feels, feels okay. I don't know what happened there. That was like a double hit on the strings. Struggle. No, that wasn't too bad. It's a struggle in my mind, which is always, that's a, that's a whole different problem. But the backhand feels good when I hit it clean, which I do most of the time. It's just when I don't hit it clean, I stupid shank it. I just focus on the shanks, really. Like one shank out, out does 20 good shots. Should it be that way? I don't know, like should I just move on? every time and not think of it, not worry about it. I just wanna know why I shank. I don't have anywhere near the problem on my forehand. I don't know, we're on day 20. Maybe day 25, it'll change. A guy can dream, right? What the heck, man? I was getting frustrated because I was expecting perfection on my forehand. Some of those were going low, con contact slightly off. It wasn't perfect and I got pissed. But it's not, man, I know that. I've been playing tennis for almost like 30 years, man. That nothing's gonna be perfect, no swing is ever perfect. But I still expect that from myself. I need to like be a little bit more kind, a little bit more nice to myself. Try to stay positive. Okay, all right, here we go, yeah. You know what, well, I was a pretty good therapist, I will say also. As well as a coach, a hitting partner. Nobody talks about how it's a therapist, but so far, man, it's been doing some work on me. I just figured something out. I was trying to breathe a little better. Not the exhale, because I kind of do that every time I hit, it's like a mini grunt. But inhaling, breathing in, making sure I get like good breath in. I feel like that helped a lot. I'm, you know, still out of breath a little bit, but like 
I don't feel like fatigued in my muscles. Like, oh, I need to really get some oxygen back in them. I really thought about that. The inhale, tennis is so much, I've had tons of coaching about the exhale and the timing. But the inhale, can't exhale without an inhale. <laughs> That's okay. Backhand was better. I think that little fundamental bit is gonna help, especially if I'm not closing off my footwork, which I tend to do a lot. And I just gotta be nice to myself, man. I ain't winning any awards out here. I'm past my tennis prime. I'm just doing this for you guys. How about that though? Just hitting on the wall, learning to love ourselves. There's day 20. <laughs> See you tomorrow.